Hello, Olivia here. In this follow along sequence, I want to show you some positions and movements that I use to help me alleviate tension in the parts of my body that ordinarily hold a bit too much tension for my liking. That means my neck, the whole of my neck, my throat and my jaw, um, my upper and middle back in particular, but also my lower abdomen down through the front of the hip and a little bit down into the thighs. The main positions I'll be using are a standing forward bend, a full squat, a lunge position, and then I'll be lying face up on the floor. If you don't particularly like standing forward bends, and indeed if you struggle with getting down into a full squat position, you could do all of the first two parts of this sequence sitting in a chair. If, however, your, the squat is your limitation, and mine is on from time to time, then make sure you have something like this, hard or soft, um, so that you can raise your heels and be very comfortable in the full squat position. In terms of the lying on the floor position, part of it will be done just on a flat surface, so make sure it's nice and comfortable, but the final part will be done draped over something like this. We have a baby whale here, but it could be any semi-firm cylindrical surface that you can drape yourself over. And when I say drape yourself, it'll actually only be the top of the spine and the neck that will be draped in that position. So make sure you've got that gear handy. So let's get started. The first part is a standing forward bend. Or as I said a moment ago, you can do it sitting in a comfortable chair. So feet about hip width apart, knees are bent and simply use your arms to lower yourself into a draped forward bend position. That means head hanging forward in a completely relaxed way and your arms hanging down as well. Just pause there and get used to being upside down. Feel the weight through the feet. Do a little bit of a movement backwards into the heels, into the toes. Just find the most comfortable position. Then little tiny left right shifts of your hips. Feel the weight move from foot to foot. Breathing comfortably all the while and then just relax completely. Is your head hanging completely relaxed in that forward position? Breathe into the middle back. Really move the air into the middle of your spine. Good. All right, now with your left hand, just slowly creep it out along the floor in front of you and let that shoulder move forward a bit as well. There'll be a tiny bit of rotation introduced into the shoulders. And then walk that hand back and the same on the right hand side. Just creep it forward, reach it out a bit, let the shoulder move forward on that side, almost like you're trying to shrug the shoulder up towards the ear and go back. Back to the first side. For me, because I hold so much tension in the middle back, just that little reaching out and a slight rotation, now go to the other side, gives me a gentle stretch in the middle back, one side at a time. A couple more on each side. As well as reaching the hand out, reach it across the body a little bit more so that you're feeling a tiny bit of a stretch perhaps down in the middle back and into your lats. Go back to the second side, so reach out, Shrug the shoulder up to the ear, reach the arm across the body. Good. One more time on each side. You can vary the speed with which you move. Nice breathing pattern is take a full breath in as you reach out and breathe out as you come back. And then again, just drape. Is your head and neck relaxed? Are your shoulders relaxed? You might be feeling a bit of a stretch through the back of the legs and you might start to feel this into the lower back as well. All right, this time reach both hands out, stretch out as far as you can and then exaggerate a flexion in your middle back, really round, round, round. You'll find that your chest comes away from your legs a little bit and then go back again, relax. Do that again, stretch out, round, round, round. Breathe into the middle of the back and relax. Okay, now straighten the legs a little bit more and let your body come away from your thighs. Head is still relaxed. 
But now do the same movement. Reach the arms out, round through the middle back, round, 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 and relax. Do that again. For me, that active rounding, pressing the arms off the body is a very powerful middle back stretch. And relax. Breathe. We're going to do that again and add another movement. So big stretch out with the arms, round in the middle back, and now twist around to one side. I'm twisting to the right and I'm stretching the left arm out. Come back to the middle, twisting to the left now, stretching the right arm off the body, keeping that flexion in the middle back. Very, very strong for me. It feels awesome. And relax. Breathe comfortably. Okay, now a rotation. Put your left hand on your right ankle. Put the right hand on the outside of the right knee. Pull with the left hand, push with the right hand, adding a rotation. Breathe into the middle back. Another deep breath in. And as you breathe out this time, twist around a little bit more. Left hand pulling, right hand pushing. And relax in the center position. Anything that generated a bit of tension through that rotation, wriggle it out. And let's go to the other side. So right hand on the left ankle, left hand on the outside of the left knee. Right arm is pulling, left hand is pushing. Breathe deeply. In this direction, it's much looser for me than the other direction. Feel for any left-right differences in your body. Big breath in, and as you breathe out, a little bit more of an effort to twist around a bit further. And come back to the center. Relax completely. Is your head relaxed? Your shoulders relaxed? All right, now put your hands up on your thighs. Come up a small amount. Strongly round your spine, particularly in the middle back. And then same twisting action. This time I've got my left hand just below my right knee. Right hand, same position. And twist from there. And feel whether that feels different now that you're not bent over so far. Pull on a gentle tail tuck. Feel if that changes the sensation as you're rotating. Breathe. And we'll go to the other side. So right hand is just below the left knee, left hand there, and twist around. Round in the middle back, tuck the tail a bit. Trying to emphasize the movement in the middle back. Breathe. All right. Come to the center and a final drape here. Breathe, relax, relax your neck. All right, hands on the floor, take a breath in, lift the head up as you hold your breath and come down. Good. And wriggle around. All right, the next part involves a full squat. So I'm bringing in my heel lift, grab whatever you need. And as I said at the beginning, if you're not comfortable holding a squat for a few minutes, by all means do this same sequence sitting in a chair. So feet about hip width apart, wider if you need. I typically have the feet angled out just a little bit because that feels most comfortable. This is not so much about improving your squat, it's about adding some movements to get into all the areas around here and up through the back. Okay, to start with, just rest here and let your head go forward. Even that, if you hold a lot of tension in the back of the body, that can bring on a stretch. It's a tiny bit in my neck today, tiny bit in the upper back as well. Breathe. And breathe. Okay, take in a breath and lift the head up. 
The next we're going to do is try and emphasize the forward curve in the spine whilst we're in the full squat. I'm going to reach and hold my ankles like this. If that's doable for you, that's great. Or you can hold around the outside. Take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, let your head go forwards. Let your hips sink down towards your heels. And now add a little pulling action with your arms to try and pull your head towards the floor. Breathe into the back of the body. Add some small, slow shifts of your hips left and right. Try to more actively tuck your chin to your chest. And then pause in the center position. And then take a breath in and come up. Now I'm going to leave one hand here. I'm going to shift my weight to that side and I'm going to put the other hand here and do a little bit of a movement to the side, also pressing this knee out to the side a little bit, and then rotate. So I'm feeling things all around here into the middle back on this side as well. The more you do a shift to the side here, the more you'll feel it in the hip complex and down into the lower back on this side. Breathe deeply. You can add some movements side to side, a little bit more twisting. For me today, that is a strong position all through this side of the middle back and now it's getting down into the lower back on the same side. And come back to the center and rest. Same thing on the other side. So a tiny bit of a shift towards this side Hand on here, twisting first. If your neck's uncomfortable, you don't have to include the neck movement. My bottom arm, my right arm is pushing through and the top one is twisting me around. Now a bit more shift towards my right side, a bit more twist. Breathe deeply. For me today on this side, it's only a lower back, little side stretch. How does it feel? Where do you feel it in your body? Breathe as deeply as you can. And relax. And come back to the center. Both hands now on the back of the heels and just drape there. Head hanging forward, arms are relaxed. Couple of deep breaths into the back of the body. Release the hands, take a full breath in, hold it as you lift your head and come out. If you need to, by all means, stand up and walk around for a moment or two. Shake the legs out. Okay, the next movement is for this whole line through here. Hopefully, mainly through your lats. It's done in an all fours position. So, come on to all fours. One hand goes out to the side. This arm, reach it out and reach it across the body. And then sink that armpit down towards the floor. By all means, rest your forehead on the floor or rest it on the side of your arm. The other hand, put it directly opposite your armpit and use it as a sideways lever. The same time as you're sinking the armpit towards the floor that combination of movements that can get you a very strong lat stretch. As well, the hip on the same side as your outstretched arm, try and pull it back away from the hand. 
that can really draw on that side lat stretch. Breathe, sink, a little bit more sideways. Now, the support arm, take it up a little bit back towards your knees and try the sideways force from that position. May well change the focal point of the stretch, definitely does for me. And one more position, hand a little bit to the front and sideways lever there. Breathe into the side of the body that's under stretch. One more breath. And then shift back to the center, press up and we'll do the other side. So this arm, we'll call it the support arm, out it goes. Stretching arm out to the side and across the body. Sink down, so you're exploring that shoulder movement to begin with. And then your support arm, you're using it as a sideways force. <sighs> Breathe into the side that's under stretch. For me today, this is way more intense than the first side. <sighs> Different position for the support arm. Same sideways lever but it changes the locus of the stretch. The hip on the side of the outstretched arm, try and pull it back towards your feet. May well find that pulls it right down towards your waistband, all the way down there. And one more position for the support arm, a little bit to the front, and sideways lever there. Can you sink deeper? Breathe as deeply as you can to the side of the body. Shift your chest back to the middle. Bring the hand through, take a breath and up you come. Try some of these movements. Rounding. One forward, one forward, both forward, chin to chest. Oh, feels lovely. Okay, now you're going to lie down on your back. With your legs outstretched. Arms just resting on the floor, head is comfortable. Now do this slowly, particularly if you tend to cramp a bit in the lower back when you extend it. Lift your lower back up off the floor and then try just reaching one leg out. I'm trying to stretch the left leg along the floor and I'm lifting the left hip up just a fraction squeezing the glute and for even that gentle lengthening gives me a nice stretch through the front of the hip and up into the abdomen. If you want to lift the hip just a little bit higher on this side and then rest. These are not strong movements, it's just a warm up to what we're going to do next. So lift the lower back up off the floor, lift the right hip up but more importantly stretch the right leg out away from you. Gentle stretch through the abdomen on that side and in through the front of the hip. And we'll do that a couple more times on each side. So I'm lifting the lower back up off the floor and I'm also imagining my rib cage is moving up towards the ceiling. Lift the left hip a bit more and reach it away from you. If I drive the left heel into the floor, that gives me an even stronger sensation through the front and now it's coming down into the top of the quad as well. It's not very strong, but it's a, it's a really lovely sensation, I find. Relax in the center. Lift the lower back up off the floor. It's actually a bit more up towards the middle back as well, not just the lower back. Lift the right hip up, stretch out, push the right heel into the floor, and lengthen through that side, right side of the abdomen. And wriggle. 
Okay, now bring the soles of the feet up onto the floor. Tuck the tail, squeeze the glutes, push the hips up off the floor and shift the hips to one side and then raise that hip up. Now I'm getting a much stronger stretch through the quad just on that side. Lift the hips a little bit more. You can drive the right heel into the ground. That'll give you a stronger sensation. And then we'll go the other way. So shift the hips to the side, lift the left hip up more, tuck the tail a little bit more, drive the left heel into the ground. All of this is now under stretch. For me, that's a strong stretch through that line. One more time in each direction. So I'm shifting the hips to the side, I'm tucking the tail, I'm lifting the right hip even more, and if you drop the left hip, it gives you a different line through the quad. It's a really lovely sensation. Yeah, you're doing a little bit of work, but you also get that stretch. So go to the side, tuck the tail, lift the hip, drive the heel into the floor, and then drop the other hip. And come back to the center and lower down. Pull the knees into the chest just to give the lower back a slight round out, just in case there's any little cramping introduced there. All right. Now, no stretch therapy sequence is complete without a lunge. So that's what we're going to do now. Typically in lunge positions, we're trying to specifically target quads and hip flexors. That's not the purpose of this lunge today. It'll get stretched there, but we're going to do what will look like a poor form lunge, because I'm really trying to emphasize this part in this lunge today. My foot and my kneeling knee are about hip width apart. And the first thing I'm gonna do is just let my hips sink. I'm not too concerned about them being square or pulling on a tail tuck or any of those typical hip flexor cues that we use. I'm just sinking. How does that feel? For me already, that's a stretch right up here, right up the top near the pubic bone there. Breathe. Is your belly relaxed? Sink a little bit more. Now, rather than using the lower back muscles, use this hand here on the front knee to move your chest and shoulders back a little bit, just so it's comfortable. Now I'm getting a stronger stretch up through the abdomen here. Now this arm, reach it up, reach it off the body, and then move yourself back a little bit. Again, I'm allowing my lower back to bend, so just make sure that it doesn't make your lower back feel uncomfortable. And I'm actively reaching up off the body. For me, this is a very powerful stretch here, just to the side of my navel. Breathe into there. Reach up more when you breathe in. Relax as you breathe out. Big breath in. You can go back a little bit further as long as your lower back is happy with that. Breathe and relax. And every time I relax, I'm sinking a bit deeper into that lunge. Two more breaths. And to come out, hand on the floor and press back with the front foot. I'll turn around and we'll do the other side. Wow, that's such a lovely stretch through the abdomen. So to begin, make sure you're stable, foot and knee about hip width apart or even more. And the first thing is just to sink. It's to bring on a lengthening through this whole chain here. Doesn't matter if the hips aren't square, doesn't matter if there's no tail tuck, sink. How does it feel on the second side? For me, this is a quad stretch, nothing up here at all. It's all in the quad. Good. Hand on the front knee. 
Use that hand rather than any of your back muscles to move your shoulders back. Keep sinking through the hips. Relax your belly. Okay, other arm comes up. As you breathe in, really reach it up and then take yourself back nice and slowly so you don't cramp anywhere in the lower back. Breathe as deeply as you can into your abdomen. Big deep breath. And as you breathe out, sink and maybe you can go back a little bit further. Back with your shoulders, I mean. Big breath in, reach that arm up off the body. Reach up, reach up. Oh, it's a big, big stretch for the abdomen now. So nice. And as you breathe out, sag, sink a bit deeper. Big breath, reach up, reach up, and go back a little bit further. Good. Very, very strong stretch here. Oh, it feels marvelous. One more breath. And come down slowly and press back with that front foot. All fours, little rounding, hip side to side, just in case there's any tension created in the lower back. Oh. Bring your hands to your belly, big breath in, and let that relax completely. Oh. If you hold a lot of tension in your abdomen, those sorts of movements just relieve it straight away. Okay, final sequence is done again lying on your back but you've got your thing to drape yourself over. What we want here is for your middle back and shoulders to be supported as well as your neck, but have your neck in just a little bit of extension, just a little bit. Arms out to the side. You can have your legs bent, soles of the feet on the floor, or you can stretch them out completely. And to begin with, we just lie here. Focus on breathing into all parts of the front of your torso, in particular around the ribs just below your nipples. Imagine them being expanded and collapsed as you breathe. In fact, don't imagine it, feel it as you breathe. In and out. Good. Okay. Roll your head to one side. So you're trying to look towards one shoulder. Come back through the middle. Go the other way. Back to the first side. The shoulder that you've turned your head away from, actively pull it down. If you want to, you can have the arm next to your leg there, if that gives you a better sensation of pulling it down. Turn the head a little bit more and feel if you feel anything through the throat and down through the top of the shoulder on the side that you're turned away from. For me, because I've pulled the shoulder down and because my neck is in that slight extension, that is a very strong but lovely supported way to stretch through that side of my neck. Come back to the middle and we'll go the other way. So turn and look towards one shoulder. Pull the other shoulder down away from that ear. Turn the head a little bit more. And how does it feel on that side? You might feel it pulling through the throat. It might be more down towards the shoulder that you pulled down. Go back to the middle. Go back to the first side. Again, pull the opposite shoulder down. And then very slightly lift your chin up towards the ceiling. 
Move really slowly so there's no cramping on the side you've turned towards. And now, for me, that's a way more powerful stretch right up towards the jaw on that side. Can you pull the shoulder down again? Lift the chin a fraction more. Turn the head a bit more towards the shoulder. And slowly come back and we'll do the other side. So turn the head, pull the shoulder down and then lift the chin up towards the ceiling. Breathe deeply into the side of the neck, throat, jaw, that's under stretch. Pull the shoulder down again. Lift the chin a bit more. Turn the head a little bit more. Breathe. And slowly come back to the middle. Go limp. Go more limp. Relax. Now place your soft palms either side of the ribs and breathe deeply in and out into those hands. Move your hands lower to either side of your lower abdomen and a few deep breaths into your belly. Bring your hands to the back of your head. If your legs are outstretched, bend them, soles of the feet on the floor. First movement, tuck the chin into the chest and then help your head up. And roll to the side. Turn. Turn. Forward. Fantastic. I hope you like that sequence. See you again.